Hello, I am S.P. Singh, PRT of Kendra Vidalam Helpar in Fall. In today's lesson, I will be taking up a topic and the name of the topic is Link between the size of animals' ears and their hearing. This lesson is for class 5 EBS from chapter number 1, Super Senses. And this is module number Six. What will you learn in this lesson? Target learning outcomes are the students will be able to reveal understanding towards animals. Number two, the students will be able to know about sense organs of animals and birds. And the students will be able to find out the link between the size of animals ears and its hearing. So before going to the lesson, let me ask you some questions. Well, what have you learned in the previous class? That is class 4. I think you read that we cannot easily see birds ears. Their ears are small, holes covered with feathers. Next question what I would like to ask you today is. Did you see any bird or animal today? If so, which one? You must have seen some of the domestic animals like cat, dog, cow, etc. Then, if you have seen those animals, can you see the animal's ears? I think the answer is obviously yes. Then let me ask you one question. Tell me the name of an animal whose ears are bigger than ours. Some of the animals whose ears are bigger than us are elephant, cow, rabbit, you can tell any of them. And my last question is, please listen very carefully. Is there some link between the size of animals' ears and their hearing? So today, let us learn this topic. Link between the size of animals' ears and their hearing. Well, to find out the link between the size of animals' ears and their hearing, let us do the first activity. That is, you have to write the names of 10 animals whose ears can be seen. And if you have to write, I think, some of the animals are given here, this type of things will be writing. Like cat, rabbit, a donkey, dog, lion, fox, tiger, bear, monkey, and zebra. Activity number two. In this activity, what you have to do is, Write the names of some animals whose ears are bigger than our ears. So some animals whose ears are bigger than our ears are elephant, horse, goat, and cow, etc. Next, let us do the third activity. You have to observe and do the recording. 
And what we will do in this activity number three is that observe the uh, observe the animals given in the slides and tell their names. Number one, number two, you have to write the name of the animals below the given pictures. Now let us start with the first activity, activity number three, part one. The first animal shown here is what? Yes, this is a dog. Then let us see the second one also. And this is a cat. Next slide, and that gives you activity number three, part two. And you have seen one picture here. Tell me the name of this picture, name of this animal. And the name of this animal is bat. Next one, you'll see a very beautiful picture, very cute one, white one. And tell me the name of this animal. Yes, this is a rabbit. Let us go to the next slide, activity number three, part three. Here also you'll have two animals, pictures of two animals. The first one is this one. Tell me the name of this animal. The animal is cow. What about the next one, which I'm showing? This is kangaroo. Let us go to the next part of activity number three, part number four. Here, you see a very beautiful animal here. And what do you call this one? Yes, this beautiful animal is zebra. Then let me show you the next one. The next one has got a very big horn. Big one. What do you call this one? We call it buffalo. Now you have seen another animal in this activity number three, part five. Tell me the name of this animal. Yes, the name of this animal is leopard. Then let us go to the next one. A pair of two black animals. What do you call this one? They are bears. See, activity number three, part six again. This animal is very popular and using a very nice game of Manipur. It's always a polo. So what do you call this animal? Yes, it is a horse. The second one, this animal gives us milk also and meat also. What do you call this one? Uh, this animal is God. Then we have a very funny animal coming out in the next activity number three part seven this is a what yes it is a monkey and the last one is what this is a fox well now let us go to the fourth activity we have done three activities so far and this is the fourth activity and part one you have to identify and make classifications. What you'll do here is find a quiet place in a home or school. Tell one of your family members or friends to stand at a short distance and ask him or her to say something softly. The rest of your family members should listen very carefully. This is activity number one. So you do it and tell me what happens after some time. Then another activity which you have to do along with this one is activity number four, part two. I will show it now. This 
this is activity number for part two here can you see the pictures on here so in this activity what you will do is let all of your family members put their hands behind their ears as shown in the pictures and let the same person say something again as softly as before so now we have done two activities activity number four part one activity number four part two and in these two activities what you find is what is that is the question what i'm going to ask you what fact we have discovered now for that let me ask you a question question is in which case was the sound sharper ask your family members or your friends too the fact what we discovered from the answers what you're getting is what it is nothing but when we put our hands behind our ears the sound was sharper i repeat when we put our hands behind our ears the sound was sharper when you put your hands like this put your hands so the sound will be more sharp again let us do another activity again activity number 5 part 1 here what you will do is sit near a desk or table and tap the desk like this once with your hand and listen carefully i repeat sit near a desk or table tap the desk or table like this with your hand and listen carefully this is what you have to do the first part of activity number 5 then second part of activity number 5 see the picture here what you do in the second part is that now put your ear on the desk like this a sound in the picture tap on the desk once again like this with a hand listen again so you have so far you have done two activities part 1 and part 2 of activity number 5 now what fact have you discovered my question is was there any difference in the sound of the tap first case or second case is there any difference so you have found a fact that is when we put our ear on the desk or table we could hear sharper sound i repeat when we put our ear on the desk like this we could hear sharper sound this is your finding so now from the two activities mainly activity number 4 and 5 i have a question that is is there some link Between the size of animals, ears and their hearing. I repeat the question: Is there some link between the size of animals' ears and their hearing? So, from the two activities, what we can conclude is that there are two facts. Number one, there is a link between the size of animals' ears and its hearing. I repeat. there is a link between the size of animals ears and its hearing fact number 1 number 2 animals with bigger ears have better hearing than animals with smaller ears i repeat animals with bigger ears have better hearing than animals with smaller ears so we have learned the lesson uh i would like to tell you to test yourself for that i'm going to ask you some questions the question is that true or false of the following statements 
And the first statement given here is, we cannot easily see birds' ears. Their ears are small holes covered with feathers. Is it correct? Is it true? Or is it false? Yes, the answer is true. The second statement comes, ears of an elephant are smaller than our ears. I repeat, ears of an elephant are smaller than our ears. So what should be the answer for this, whether the statement is true or false? Yes, this is false. Next statement is, uh, sorry, next question is, write the names of some animals whose ears are bigger than our ears. The answer to this question is, some animals whose ears are bigger than our ears are elephant, horse, god, and cow. Now let me go to the third question. That is, is there some link between the size of animals' ears and their hearing? I repeat, is there some link between the size of animals' ears and their hearing? Well, we have already studied about this in relation, and the answer is, there there is possibility there is possibly a link between the size of animals ears and his hearing animals with bigger ears have better hearing than animals with smaller ears i repeat there is possibly a link between the size of animals ears and its hearing animals with bigger ears have better hearing than animals with smaller ears That's all for today. And I would like to give you some home assignments. The first question for your home assignment is, have you noticed that sometimes singers put their hand on their ear when they sing like this? Or like this, or like this. So I repeat the question, have you noticed that sometimes singers put their hand on their ear when they sing? Why do you think they may be doing this? You find out an answer and write your class notebook. The second question for your home assignment is, give examples of animals. Give examples of animals that may have a very strong sense of hearing. Then question number three. The last question for your home assignment, how do the snacks here? I repeat, how do the snacks here? So please do this, these three questions in your class notebook as your homework for today. Thank you. And if you have any questions, any queries, please contact me through this mobile number. That is 9863286849. And you can either email to my email ID that is fulancing at red yahoo.co.in. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.